The Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to inhabit the forest of southern New Jersey. It has been reported to move quickly and has often been heard with a high-pitched, blood-curdling scream. Is it possible we finally have evidence of its existence? Or is this a years old creepy pasta preying on our vivid imaginations? I've got the answer to that creature mystery, plus answers on some other strange items that you guys are curious about. Like this photo that claims to show a real life angry bird, this photo that wants us to think this shark shaped submarine is for real, and a picture that wants us to believe nature can create dazzling and magical rainbow patterns in a rock. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, there's been a lot of scary creatures sighted in America's most densely populated state of New Jersey. But the one that New Jersey is most famous for is the Jersey Devil. It's been described as kangaroo-like with a goat or horse-like head and large bat-like wings. It's never been known to attack people, but some claim it has horns, small arms, and a forked tail. Witnesses have described it as half human and half devil, thus the name the Jersey Devil. Okay, now I know this thing can be pretty scary to some of you guys, especially if you live in New Jersey, but look, here's the bad news. The bad news is this thing has also been known to travel and has been seen in other states like Pennsylvania. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the best evidence that's been presented so far on this little creature and we're going to see if we can find solid evidence to prove whether it's real or fake. Our first photo claims to show the Jersey Devil from behind. While it doesn't have a forked tail, it certainly is unusual. This photo first appeared on Reddit, posted by user Diabolicism, with the headline, What the hell is this animal spotted in New Jersey? To be sure, there were a lot of postings of this picture all over the internet, but with a little digging, I came across a guy named Chris Chaos and his blog, called All Things Weird. Chris did some of his own research and uncovered the fact that this photo wasn't actually taken in New Jersey, but rather in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation took another picture in the same location at a later time, showing a different angle to the creature, revealing it just to be, and get this, just a furless squirrel. Next up is this photo that claims to have captured the Jersey Devil in flight. It was reported on by ABC News. It was like seeing a minion from another realm. New Jersey resident Dave Black claiming he captured this picture showing the Garden State's fabled fiend after leaving work on Monday. This thing sprouted wings, then it was gone. Now, according to ABC News, sightings of the Jersey Devil go all the way back to 1735 and have been spotted many, many times since then. But is Mr. Black's picture the real deal or not? That's the question. Well, one thing supporting that it could be real is the fact that there was something else recorded not far away, right around the same time. Another person posting this video allegedly showing the winged creature flapping through the Pine Barrens less than nine miles away from where Black says he saw it. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, if you ask me, that video looks a little weird. I mean, the flying of the creature looks weird. It kind of like bounces up and down. It doesn't look natural. To me, it looks more like, you know, puppet on a string kind of stuff. But on the other hand, you know, it is a cryptid. So maybe it does things that we're not real familiar with. And there's also the possibility that somebody really did get it on camera because let's face it, everybody's got a phone in their back pocket and every phone has got a camera in it. So I'll tell you what, I think it's time for you to let me know what you're thinking by going ahead and vote up here. Now, what we're voting on today is whether you think this particular set of evidence, in other words, uh, Dave Black's photo and this video are both real, and if they've captured this thing called the Jersey Devil, all right? So go ahead and vote up here. If you can't do that, 
So all right, leave an answer down in the comment section. Or if you're in a group, like you're sitting there with your family, go ahead and yell it out. You ready? And go. Hey, while everybody's making up their mind and voting, what do you say we go over a few things from last week's show and see how you guys voted? On that giant snake video sent in by my friend Kaito, 70% of you guys voted fake, 24% real, and 5% unknown. The official answer was fake. It turned out to be a regular size anaconda made big by stretching out the video. On the picture of the man with a nose on his forehead, 68% of you guys said fake, 29% said real, and 1% unknown. The official answer was real. Doctors were actually growing the man a new nose to replace his regular nose injured in a car accident. On the scary face river picture, 60% voted real, 35% voted fake, and 3% unknown. The final answer on this one was fake. Here's the original picture, and here is the fake. And finally, the winner of last week's fan art contest goes to Cyan Biswas with 77% of the votes. Cyan, looks like you got some talent there. I would keep it up if I were you. Okay, now that we got the record straight on that, what do you say we get back to this and find out if old El Diablo de New Jersey is the real deal, or well, if these pictures. And in case you're not familiar with that word, Diablo, it's a Spanish word, it translates to devil in English. I know that, porque yo hablo un poco español. In fact, yo tengo una idea. Me gustaría hacer una versión de este programa en español. Decía ayudarme, por favor, mandar una, como se dice, uh, correo electrónico, email. Okay? Okay, gracias. All right, now we're gonna get back and find, oh, que barbaridad. Mm. Desconocido, unknown. Despite all the evidence, we were not able to find any smoking guns on this one. All our requests to access the original photos and videos went unanswered. For now, the Jersey Devil will just have to remain a mystery, but, we will keep the file open and let you know if we come up with any new solid evidence. By this time, I think everybody has heard or played the game app called Angry Birds. But did you know some people say all those angry bird creatures are actually based on real birds? Case in point is this picture. It was sent in by Isaiah who just wrote, Hey Bill, is this a real bird or something made in Photoshop by an Angry Birds gaming fan? Isaac, you know, I've seen a lot of odd birds in all my travels, and I gotta tell you, one of my favorites is the shoebill from Uganda. I mean, people come from thousands of miles just to see this bird. Not only is it big and really weird looking, but it's got a really weird personality. Yeah. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the Angry Birds game, I've never heard this idea that those birds are based on real birds, but you know, who knows? I asked my trusty Facebook group and answers flew back quickly. Judy Lebrona said it was absolutely real. It's called a red foddy and lives in Madagascar. Javier Go confirmed it's a real bird. I saw it on a magazine called Young Scientist. In the skeptic department, however, was Mary Jackson who said it was fake because birds don't have eyebrows. Only the birds from the game would have eyebrows. Well, Mary, um, sad to say, but I did a little checking around and guess what? There are plenty of birds out there with eyebrows as Bashar Makhul points out. Okay, well, I guess it's that time. Go ahead and leave me your votes down here, your answers down here, or just shout it out. I will get out the official recycled envelope we talked about that last week, that was pretty funny. And see what the official answer is, okay. Oh boy. Did you vote real? Because if you did, you are wrong. It's fake. Adrian James Goodtip Tangpuno was the first to the smoking gun on this one, pointing me towards unrealitymag.com and an artist named Mohamed Raouf. Mohammed has drawn this and other angry birds to ask 
What would it be like if there were some real angry birds in this world? Well, as you can see, Mohammed's creations do look very lifelike, although I have to say, only a few of them look like they're angry. Our next picture was sent in by Serio Plays, who asked, is this shark-shaped submarine for real or just a BFF, as in Big Fat Fink? Serio, I was pretty excited by this one, and I dove head first on it because this could take swimming with sharks to a whole new level. But I gotta be honest with you, you know, I got some suspicions about this one because, you know, how does a submarine, like, jump out of the water like that, first of all? I mean, a little weird. Second of all, if you look closer, I don't see anybody inside that thing. And it's like, hello, Photoshoppers, don't forget the details. But hey, those are just my opinions. Now it's time for you to let me know what you're thinking. Go ahead and vote up here. Tell me your answers down there or just yell it out and I will get out this. Let's find out if there's a chance we could have our own personal shark-shaped submarine. I mean, how cool would that be? Wow, okay. Well, our dreams may be dashed because, well, then again, maybe not because. The official answer is real. While this isn't a true deep diving submarine, it's called the Sea Breacher and can come in many different models, including killer whale and dolphin style. It can travel at 60 miles per hour over the water and 25 miles per hour under it, and it seems like a heck of a lot of fun. You typically don't go lower than six feet or about two meters, but hey, that's good enough for me. I wonder if they give free demonstration rides. Our last picture today shows what appears to be a hand holding a magical rock with a rainbow inside of it. It was sent in by Fortnite EJWYT who wants to know, is this a real photo? Fortnite, first of all, I want to tell you what an amazing original name you have. But secondly, I want to tell you, you know, the possibilities of finding stuff in your backyard are always very high. I mean, why would it be guys walking around with those metal detectors all the time if you couldn't find weird stuff? And I'm talking about, you know, precious gems like diamonds and rubies and sapphires or precious metals like gold or silver, you know, things like that. You could even find a rock that has a rainbow in it. Well, maybe. Over on Facebook, Montes Gus wrote, I don't think it's real because wouldn't it be like very popular if it was real because it's so pretty? On the other hand, Raven Ram Kassoon wrote, it's real, it's a collective item from Guyana. On the more practical side, Sebi Lee wrote, is that a bicycle seat? Okay, well, it looks like it's time for you guys to let us know what you're thinking. And this is how I want you to vote on this one. If you think somebody just cooked up this whole thing and, you know, Photoshop just got a normal rock and then, you know, sprinkled some color digital things on it, then just go up there and vote fake. On the other hand, if you think this photo is real and that is a real object in the photo, I want you to vote real, or if you think we don't know what the heck we're talking about, then just go ahead and vote on that, okay? All right, go ahead and vote up here, answers down here, yell it out. And let us see what, why are the papers always in upside down today? All right, uh, wow, it's real. Thanks to Anthony Thomas on Facebook, we now know this is called a Rainbow Quartz Geode, and there is a video to go with it. Anthony, Brian Chapman, and Pranjal Dada all pointed out there is some human manipulation of the quartz to make it sparkle like that, but both the picture and the rock are definitely the real thing. Thanks, guys. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, you know what I'm going to say now, right? If you're thinking about clicking away, do not do that because I haven't shown you my favorite fake of the week, okay? And now for my favorite fake of the week. It's called Trampoline Jump and was sent in by Duke the Dog. Despite the fact that even if you trained for like a million years for this, I think you would just break your legs 
jumping that high onto a trampoline. But anyway, this daredevil superhero-like jump is actually a combination of several videos sewn together by amazing video artists with some clever sound design added to make it seem real. But let's face it, it's B-F-F. <laughs>